All right, y'all, the moment you've been waiting for, let's go over the answers to this scavenger hunt. So number one, I started off pretty easy, lull you guys into a sense of, oh, this isn't too bad, right? So question number one, 92% of you got it right. The question is, Macy started her farm in October, 2021 <clears throat> and revealed the farm's name a few months later. What is the farm's name? Stewards of the land. So you can find that a lot of places. I was wearing it. Also I have banners in the barn, little flyers everywhere. So most everybody got that one right. For question number two, we're gonna have to take a walk in the barn. So actually everybody got this one right, 100%. So the question is, the very first project Macy needed to get done after purchasing the property was to get the field planted. She ordered organic seeds from Byron Seeds LLC, the blank to better blank. And the answer, was up on the sign, the bridge to better forages. So good job, y'all. You got that one right. For number three, you had to go upstairs. 92% of y'all got it right. The question is, one of the first projects started this year was building the barn. What is the name of the company that built the barn? And you can find it up here. So the answer to that one was up top. So the name of the company was Schwartz Construction. I just never took it down. They stapled it up there and nailed it together and it was perfect for the scavenger hunt. For question number four, nobody got this one right. This was kind of a tough one. The question was, everyone knows Macy loves cows. In fact, she already started her herd. How many cows are on the farm? So some of y'all took this very literal and you said zero, because technically I don't have any living cows. Some of y'all saw the cow skull downstairs and put one, and technically that is probably the closest thing to a real cow that I have out here. But what I was going for, and a lot of you guys were on the right track, you just miscounted, was just a picture of a cow. So let me show you where all those are. There are nine. Most of them are all upstairs, but if you go on the table here, one of the coasters, there's cow number one. We have cow number two hiding on the book. Cow number three is a little decoration above the cabinets upstairs. Cow number four. Cow number five. Cow number six was on my hoodie laying on the couch. Later in the evening, if you did the scavenger hunt, I was wearing this, so that counts as one. So the majority of the cows were upstairs. However, there are a few that are downstairs. Cow number seven is on the top left there on that shelf. And then the other two were kind of tricky. Number eight and number nine hiding over there. So nine total. For number five, 84% of you guys got it right. And the answer to this one was if you saw this little post over here, as the crow flies, the answer to that one was 51 miles. For number six, you had to take a walk to the far back of the property. So 76% of you guys got this one right though. The question was, there are a wide variety of things that Macy enjoys, but what was the last piece of music she was practicing on? So the answer to that one is out here on the shooting target. Bit of a trick question there, but I was practicing shooting on a piece of music, not practicing music. Number seven, you guys did not like number seven. It was the most asked question that I was getting last night. It's just some sort of hint on this one. But believe it or not, 61% of you did get it correct. And this was a hen flew the coop and started laying eggs somewhere on the farm. Macy can't find the nest and needs your help. Where did you find the nest? For this one, you had to walk the perimeter of the farm. So the answer to this one was the southwest corner post. The nest is laying here right on the ground. Four little blue eggs. Number eight. This is the one about the fence. So on the surface, it seems like a super simple question, right? Only 30% of you guys got this right. So the question is, the fence is about 50% done. The next portion Macy wants to get done is the south fence line. How many T-posts will she need? So first, you gotta figure out your north, south, east, and west. So it looks like most everybody did that. And what y'all did, I saw a lot of people walking the fence line, but only a few people caught the little 
twist in the question. So everybody counted 53 T posts, but I actually need one more. So the trick in this question was this tree. So this is the north fence line, which I did use 53 actual T posts on, but for when I build the south line, I'm actually going to need a T-post where that tree is because the tree is acting like a T-post because that's way too big a span. So the answer to that one was 54 T-posts. Question number nine. There are over 100 chickens on the farm, but how many speckled Sussex roosters are there? I just wanted to see how many y'all could tell the difference between hens and roosters. And you guys did pretty good. 84% of you got it right. So the first thing you had to do was figure out which coop had the speckled Sussex in them. I had these handy dandy little uh, cheat sheets on the back with some fun facts. So once you found the coop, you had to look in and see how many roosters you could spot. And there are two. I have that guy right there in front. And then, let me zoom in, that guy right there. So two speckled Sussex roosters. So for the next question, you gotta head up to the garden and only 23% of you guys got this one correct. The question was, besides selling eggs, Macy also sells garden produce. She planted over 200 tomato plants. How many rows in the garden have tomato plants? Now on the surface, this seems like a pretty simple question. So if you walk in, there's a row with tomatoes, two rows with tomatoes, row number three, Row number four, row number five, skip a few here, my cucumbers are definitely done for the year. Row number six, oh, there's just eggplants, and row number seven. So a lot of y'all just put seven, but if you actually walk the rows, there's one tomato plant hiding in this row. And there it is. So that was the trick in that question. So actually all eight rows have tomato plants in them. Question number 11. Farming can be pretty unpredictable and full of surprises. Macy was pretty surprised to find her blank ran away from the farm. So 92% of you guys got this one correct. And the answer is my bees ran away. For number 12, only 7% of you guys got it right. There was a lot of math and tallying and everything going on for this question, which was, did you know today is the first day of fall? Nothing says fall on a farm quite like straw bales. How many straw bales are on the farm? So I do have a lot of bales just laying around the farm, but a big difference is some of them are hay bales and some of them are straw bales. So we'll start up here first. I kind of gave you a clue with this one though. So up here, I only have three straw bales. This is a straw bale, that's a straw bale, and this is a straw bale. This is actually a hay bale. So you can tell the difference. It's a slightly different color. Hay is also a little thinner. Straw is a lot tougher, thicker. Hay is what animals eat. Straw is what animals sleep on. So up here, there's three straw bales. Around this fire pit, we have two, four, six, seven. So straw bales around the barn, straw bales around that first bonfire. You had to walk out back to the second bonfire to find the others. So around this bonfire, we had another two, four, six. But there are a total of 16 straw bales on the farm. I think what was throwing people off was in the garden, I have a few bales holding down the weed cloth. Those are actually old hay bales. So trick question on that, I think there's maybe three, four, five laying around up there. For number 13, you had to go back into the barn and 84% of you guys got this one correct. And the question was, the farm continues to grow every day. What will arrive on the farm October 8th? You had to check out the calendar for this one. October 8th, I have Australorp chicks coming. Number 14, only 30% of you guys got it right. And it's time to plan a birthday party. What is turning one year old next month? So on the back of all these coops, I had the little fun facts on there. And then you see on the bottom, I have the age of all these chickens. So what you had to do on this was find the chicken that was 11 months old. 
And those were the pearl whites. They're 11 months, 11 days. So next month, the pearl whites are turning one year old. Last but not least, number 15. And the question was, where can you find the farm on social media? 92% of you guys got it right. And I feel like family and friends, you guys probably know because you probably follow along already. But if you didn't know, I have these flyers laying all around the barn. And on the back, it tells you that you can find the farm on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. All right, y'all, I tallied up everyone's scores and believe it or not, we had a four-way tie for first place. So I did have a tiebreaker question on here, which was when did Macy start farming? And I started farming on May 14th, 2016. I did some farming things before then, but that is officially when I became a farmer as far as an occupation title. So Seth and Kyle, you guys are the winners. Congratulations. The, um, the tiebreaker they guessed uh, May 13th, 2016. So that was just one day off in second place was Barry and in third place was Cheryl so I hope you guys had fun uh, with scavenger hunt I know I had a ton of fun making it and uh, it was just a good time the entire evening so Seth and Kyle since you guys did it together you're gonna have to split the prize so at $70 uh, of just farm produce and goods so it's a month's supply of eggs uh, also tomatoes, peppers, pumpkin, and a straw bale. So whenever I see you guys next, you can pick that up. Kyle, I know you already grabbed a straw bale, so you're good on that. Uh, Seth, you can have the pumpkin if you want it. Then you guys can split the eggs and split the produce. But congratulations to you guys, and thank you everyone for playing. Mm -hmm.